Ben Simmons, Philadelphia 76ers saga continues. Simmons met with Sixers brass this morning, and Adrian Wojnarowski had this to report. Ben Simmons met with the Sixers medical professionals and coach Doc Rivers today and informed them he's not mentally ready to play to his expectations now, sources tell ESPN. He also talked to his teammates today. Simmons has to now be evaluated, and next steps will be based upon the determination of medical professionals, sources tell ESPN. We welcome our NBA analyst, Kendrick Perkins. Big Perk, what is your reaction to this latest update on Ben Simmons? You know, uh, Max, you know, a lot of people is talking about mental health, but I don't take it as mental health. He's just saying he's mentally not ready to play. And I get it, right? He has lost his brothers in the locker room, and, and it's a lot going on. And sometimes you just need to take a step back. But what it's showing me right now is that that meeting also didn't go in Ben Simmons' favor. He went into that meeting, and Philly told him basically the same thing we heard Daryl Morris say yesterday on the interview is that, hey, either you're going to help us help you by putting on the 76ers uniform and playing and upping your value so that we can trade you and get us something back in return that we feel like is fair, or you're just going to be here and you're going to be miserable. So I believe that Ben Simmons is going to take a little time and then he's going to come back and he's going to be in the 76ers uniform and he's going to play for the 76ers until, until he finds, you know, until they find a new home from or get something back in return. So, so you think this does end with him? You no, know, I, I think about Ben Simmons. At six foot ten, he's listed at six ten. There's never been a player with better right. handles at that height or at that height or taller with better handles at six ten. Never. There's never been a player, a player with better speed. He has as good court vision and passing at six ten as you're going to see. He plays defense on five positions. He's an all world defender. But it comes down to Perk, the fact he just reflect like all of this comes down to he refuses to shoot the ball. So I, I agree with you, maybe not mental health, but it is an issue between the ears, is it not? Yeah, it is, Max. And you know what? I haven't, it's been a while since I've seen you, okay? And I'm happy yes. that I'm finally back on your show. Yes. But to say that Ben Simmons, we haven't seen a guy with better handles. At Kevin 6'10. Durant is right up the street. Oh, Kevin okay, Durant is six eleven. Okay. Okay, you think you okay, think Durant's Durant, handles are as good as as Ben Simmons' pure handles? Yes, 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 by far. But listen, that's not even the argument. Okay. Here's be. the thing, mm -hmm. Max. Yep. When, when when you look at Ben Simmons, you look at him lacking confidence, and I get it. He won't shoot the ball, but you know what else he's afraid of doing? Of driving to the basket. And you know mm -hmm. why he's afraid of driving to the basket? Because he's scared to go to the free throw line. See, that's when you have to change your mentality, right? And you go back and you look at a guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo and look at what he did last year in the finals, right? He attacked the basket. He embraced the contact. And what did he do? He went to the free throw line and he made his free throws. Ben Simmons uh, eventually is going to have to look himself in the mirror. But I will say this, Max. I'm going to say this here to you. If I'm another team and I'm watching this situation and I had thoughts on trying to trade for Ben Simmons, I might pull back a little bit. Yeah. I might pull back a little bit. Well, okay. From a guy who refuses to shoot to the best shooter ever, because as you know, I always say, Perk, Death being pointed at Earth. Fate of game <laughs> two of the regular season on the line. I want Steph Curry. He started 10 for 10 from the field last night. <laughs> um, he did. And he finished 8 for 13 from three, torching the Clippers for 45 points. And the Warriors, 115-113 mm -hmm. win in San Francisco. For the 10th time in over the last two, se over the last two seasons, rather, Steph outscored the rest of his own starting lineup. No one else has done that more than Steph over that span. Perk, that's a big load to carry even for the incredible Steph Curry. Can he keep this thing going until Clay gets back? And just how far can this Warriors team go in the Western Conference? He can keep it up, Max. And I think we need to start giving Steph 
the same appreciation that we give LeBron James. He's in phenomenal shape. His body looked great. And by the way, his leadership skills are there. If you watch how everyone else is playing, they're playing like Steph Curry, not shooting like Steph Curry. But if you watch the way that Jordan Poole, Damian uh, uh, Lee, the way that those guys are moving without the ball, hell, even looking at Andrew Wiggins, they're moving without the ball. It's a ripple effect. And when you look at Steph Curry, they get a healthy Klay Thompson back, Western Conference Finals, at least, finals yeah. to me, is the ceiling. It's a great point you make. An underrated component of Curry's greatness is the culture setting that he's done. The ball doesn't stick to him. He's unselfish, Breach. the whole thing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.